There is a formal mathematical way to write the same answer that can save some writing. Let's take a look at it. The symbolism I have here begins with a brace, then the ordered pair XY in parentheses, then a vertical bar, and then the equation y equals 2x minus 1, and then the closing brace. The braces around an expression mean mathematically a set. And so we read this as the set of the xy ordered pair indicates that every answer is of the form the ordered pair xy and so the set of all ordered pairs xy the vertical bar is read such that such that and then the equation is read as usual y equals 2x minus 1 and so this means the set of all xy the set of all xy such that y equals 2x minus 1. So the mathematical symbolism saves you words. The set of all ordered pairs xy such that, the vertical bar means such that, y equals 2x minus 1. When the two lines coincide and we get this infinite set of answers, the system is called dependent. Well, it certainly is dependent. Each line depends on the other because they're exactly the same thing. This is an example of a dependent system. Now it's time for you to do some exercises. I'm giving you two exercises. Your instructions are solved by graphing. For exercise 1. 3x plus y equals 7. 3x plus y equals 7. x minus 2y equals 0. x minus 2y equals 0. For exercise 2, x plus y equals 4. x plus y equals 4. 3x plus 3y equals 6. 3x plus 3y equals 6. Be sure you've copied these down correctly. Then stop the tape, solve them by graphing, and restart the tape to check your answers. On your answers, you should show the graphs as well as the solution. Here are the answers to your two exercises. For the first graph, we have a graph that goes uphill from left to right, a graph that goes downhill from left to right. They intersect at the point 2, 1, so the solution is 2, 1. One of the equations goes through the y value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, y coordinates of the y value of 6 on the y-axis. The other equation goes through the origin. For exercise 2, there is no solution because the lines are parallel. One of the lines on your graph should go through a y-intercept of 2 and an x-intercept of 2. The other equation should go through a y-intercept of 4 and an x-intercept of 4. If you missed either of these, 
and need to ask questions about them, be sure to mark your notes so that you'll remember to do so when you go to the lab. This concludes math tape number 091.